So, Steve, uh, at the end of June, you banned about 2,000 different communities, including the Donald. A number of these communities have been accused of really fomenting racism and hate speech, violent comments for so long. Why did you wait until now to make these moves and ban them? So this was the latest in a series of moves we made over um, the last five years. So we've updated our content policy um, probably a dozen times to prohibit um, all sorts of behaviors around violence, harassing, and bullying. Um, but what we did most recently was expand our policy to be very explicit about not allowing hate on Reddit. And though the intention of our policy has always been to not allow it, we didn't explicitly ban hate. We banned the behaviors that it leads to. We felt that was more a more objective way of proceeding. Um, but we got to the point where, you know, really contemplating our values as a company and where the, the gaps between our values are and our own content policy. And so um, we wanted to make it explicitly clear about, you know, what behaviors and what sort of content are prohibited on Reddit, uh, thus, you know, precipitating the change. Now, Steve, many people would say you waited too far. Other people would say you need to go for further, make more changes to really crack down on hate on the platform. I have to ask, because Reddit has always been dealing with concerns with advertisers <clears throat> around brand safety, their concerns about whether their ads are going to be next to offensive content or incendiary content. How much was this latest move in response to advertiser concerns? Uh, this move was purely driven by our own values. Um, of course, um, every advertiser... Uh, that we talk to in every conversation has a conversation about brand safety, you know, where their ads are going to appear. And we always want to make sure that um, our customers' ads are appearing where they want to. But what's most important to us is that our users are having a safe experience on Reddit. People come to Reddit for all sorts of reasons, right? To talk about, you know, their interests and passions, and in many cases, their vulnerabilities and insecurities, and they're coming for help. And if there's behavior or speech that prevents uh, those users from using Reddit the way we intended, um, then you know, then that sort of uh, speech is not going to be allowed on Reddit because it's actually actively working against our mission. Hey, Steve, it's, it's John. Uh, Reddit used to be um, one of the more freewheeling places on the internet. It, it seemed to me to operate under this idea that the the solution to bad speech is more different speech. And I think there are some other properties on the Internet still trying to operate by that standard. Has that changed? When did it change? What do you think is a, a new framing for speech on the Internet for an established platform like Reddit? That's a really great question, and I'm, I'm glad you asked. So um, open and authentic discussion has always been a core and critical part of Reddit. And... Reddit was built in the United States, where free speech is one of our founding values. And so, but one of the things we've, we've come to look at is the trade-off um, between speech and speech. That is to say, there is some speech that limits other people. And there's some speech that limits other people from using Reddit the way we intended. And it's easy to get kind of wrapped up in the hypotheticals uh, around this conversation. But on Reddit, this isn't a hypothetical. We had users, um, you know, bullying and harassing and, and silencing others. And so it's not a hypothetical and it's an easy decision to make when we think about, you know, which, you know, how do we evolve our policies to advance our mission, which is to bring community and belonging to everybody in the world, to make Reddit a welcoming place for everybody. 